These are the first line of defense. Of course, I'm the second line. We had rather have a Bible study with anybody and everybody, but we have the first line of defense of these dogs. I've tried to slip through them. I've gone outside, take off my shoes. I'm in my sock feet. I'm not making a sound. I get an old coat on and a hat, and I've tried to slip up and go through that front door and get in this living room without them knowing it. I'm never able to do it. I don't know whether they sense you, or, but they always, they go out and they meet me before I get in this house. But the few that gets by, that's where uh, the old AR kicks in. Rather have a Bible study, but if you're up to mayhem, robbery, rape, killing, we got something for you. It's hanging right there. Now, now this, this is Bobo, is what we call him. Actually, he's Jesse James number five. He's Jesse James number five, right here. The way Bobo got here is that Miss Kay figured out when she got Jesse James number one. Well, number one was 40 years ago. Well, when number one started to get old and was pining away and was near death, Miss Kay, in a hurry, goes, gets a dog that looks just like Jesse James one, and she calls him Jesse James. So when Jesse James one died, Jesse James two was already there. Well, that way, Jesse James continues to live on. Well, when number two gets old and he's going to die, well, Miss Kago gets another one. Looks, rat terrier looks just like the other one. So Jesse James three comes on. That way, we had Jesse James for 30 now, going toward 40 years. We're getting about 10 or 12 years out of them, 15 apiece. Well, we got the Jesse James four. When he started to die, the vet said he won't be here another month and he'll be dead. Miss Kay said, I gotta go get another one. So she takes off for Jesse James number five. That was Bobo. The reason we call him Bobo is Jesse James four survived old age and he's living on. So he didn't die in a month. They said he'd be dead in a month. Well, a month goes by, Jesse James four is still kicking. I thought, well, what are you gonna do now, Miss Kay? Cause you've got Jesse James five here ready to take his place, but he won't die. She said, well, we just have to wait. So we waited and we waited and we waited. I finally said, well, if you can't call him Jesse James, call him something. She said, I think we'll nickname him Bobo. I said, we'll call him Bobo. So we name him Bobo. Jesse James four finally dies. So Bobo, if he really knew, he's actually Jesse James number five, but he doesn't realize that. So we call him Bobo. I think what's happened now is that when Bobo gets time to expire, you gotta remember at some point we're gonna expire and all this will stop. But so far, we've had old Jesse James now for 40, 50 years now. He lives on. He's living on through old Bobo. First line of defense, these dogs, guard dogs, if somebody crowds his chair, they won't let them over here. Protection, see, they're, they're, they're trained not to let anybody in here unless we welcome them. So that's the little dog caper we've had going on the last 50 years. The Jesse James that never dies. We just replace him with another Jesse James. Bubba! Come on, Bubba. Bubba! Good dog, come on. No Bobo, his skill sets are numerous. Now, he's the first line of defense, no doubt about that.
He's a good fill-in for Jesse James 4. Uh, he gets bad vibes off certain individuals, which if he gets bad vibes off of certain individuals, so do I. But one of his skill sets that most people don't know about, uh, Bobo is a snake wrangler. He's a snake wrangler. Watch it, Bobo. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it, son. Carl Snake, deadly poison. Rattlesnake, copperhead, cottonmouth. In Louisiana, we got all four kinds. Well, you got grandkids. They're out there in the yard playing. You tend to want to keep the snakes in your yard at a minimum. They can really do you some serious damage because I've seen them bite people and I've seen them bite animals, dogs. It's a rough bite. I mean a rough bite. If Bobo gets to them before I do, he can get them, kill them. He's careful. He always goes in behind. If they're looking at him, he works around behind them. He grabs them and shakes them at such a speed they can't bite him. He runs by on the back, grabs them, starts shaking them, throws them down, gets away from them, works back around behind them. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's like one of these ninja type dudes, you know. I mean, he's he's got it down. <laughs> Watch <laughs> Snake Wrangler. Well, the one before him, Jesse James Four, he got bitten about three or four times. One time I cut a copperhead with a shovel into about seven pieces. The head part, the part with the head on it was about this long, about an inch and a half long, rock like this. The snake's head and the snake had been cut in two with a shovel and about six pieces lay in there. Well, I thought, I got him. He's in seven or eight pieces. Jesse James Four runs up there. I call him over there. I said, finish him off. So he runs up there. He didn't even smell the thing. He just ran by. The part with the head, when the dog ran by, went, I mean, he was able to, this long, cut in two, he bit that dog on the leg. Well, the dog started staggering like that. And I'm watching him, I said, he looked at me and growled at me. I said, don't be growling at me. I, you should have saw him, son. I told you it's a snake. Well, he runs up here and gets on my bed and I walk up in there and he just, he's mad at me because I let him in on that, that snake and didn't tell him anything. You know, he, he blamed it on me. I said, don't be blaming me. But his leg swelled up three or four days good to go. But he always, he stayed mad at me for a long time after that. Oh, Bobo, Bobo, where are you at? Come on in here, you snake wrangler, you, there he is. Come on in here. You looking for them snakes? Hey, watch for them snakes. Look up here, maybe one up there. Look up there. Watch the snakes. Watch the snake, watch for them. Every man needs a good dog. Thieves, rapists, killers, snakes, I'm just saying.